Welcome to Excel Basic Series number three. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Basics. Hey, number three here, we're going to talk about the equal sign and the ampersand and make our first formulas. Now, here we have employees. We have their gross pay, two deductions, and total deductions. We want to start uh, by making our first formula that calculates net pay. And what we want is we want to uh, have gross pay and then subtract from it total deductions and put that here. Now, in order to do a formula, you have to type an equal sign. And an equal sign has to be the first character in the cell. As soon as that's true, Excel knows you're doing a formula. Now, there are lots of different types of formulas you can do calculating, text, uh, true, false. It's, it's quite amazing after you study Excel for a while what you can do. But all formulas, every single one of them, um, has to have an equal sign. And in essence, that's the definition of a formula. A formula is a formula when there's an equal sign as the first character. Now, we want to take 3,500 and subtract. Uh, 267.75. Now we're going to do this a few ways and then you can pick the way you like best. One way to get that cell is to take your cursor and click and as soon as you do that because there's an equal sign it knows to put B2 and you can see the dancing ants dancing around. Then we have to type our operator which is minus the minus sign and then I click on my total deductions right there. Now the way Excel um, sees this is whatever's in B2, it'll take that and subtract whatever's in E2. Now I'm going to hit enter. That is one way to put a formula into a cell. And now I'm going to uh, click in this cell right here and change the gross pay. It turns out that Sue only made 3,000. Now I type 3,000. Notice also I hit, hit escape. Notice you don't have to delete first. Don't ever do that because you're wasting keystrokes. 3,000. And when I hit enter, watch what happens to this formula right here. That is why we make formulas. If I click in the cell and hit F2, that's why we make formulas with cell references. This is an input put into this calculation. And the guys who invented VisiCalc, uh, Brixton and Frankston, uh, they, that was their idea. They wanted to be able to just change an input in some cell and have the result automatically change. Now, I'm going to hit um, Escape, and I'm going to show you what never to do. And it's amazing. If you look out in the real world, you see lots of people doing formulas like this. Equals 3,000 minus 2... 29.5. That is a horrible formula. I'll hit enter and it makes um, Brixton and Frankston uh, unhappy because their great invention, the spreadsheet, uh, doesn't, the beauty of our uh, abilities with spreadsheets doesn't work when you make a formula like that. Let's go ahead and change this to 3,500 and watch this right here. Did it change? No way. All right. I'm going to click in this cell, and again, you don't have to hit delete, just type an equal sign. Now, we, we did our formula once with our mouse, which is fine, but another way is to use your arrow keys. I'm going to arrow, 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 arrow. That is a left arrow. And then I'm going to type a minus, and then once left arrow. As soon as you type an equal sign, your arrow keys are converted to um, point mode, and so you can move them to get your cell references. Now, if you know how to type fast, that is faster. That is the number one advantage. However, if your cell references are a long ways away, then the mouse is better. Now watch this. Before we hit enter, but I'm going to teach you a second way to put a formula into a cell. By the way, this is a common mistake. Uh, don't do this, like in Word. You can type a word and then click somewhere, or in PowerPoint, you could click somewhere. Watch what happens to my formula when I use this method. I, I think I'm trying to enter it. <gasps> oh no, I wrecked it. Easy way to wreck it. So the, rem the remedy is never use your cursor. Always use enter or some of the other methods I'll show you. Luckily, we're still in edit mode because the dancing ants are dancing. So just click back here and you got it. Now, instead of enter, hold control and hit enter. That's different than before because it kept the cell highlighted. It put the formula in but kept it highlighted. Now, just to let you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you 
Um, one, two, five different ways to enter your formula that will always work. I'm going to hit F2. And watch this. Now I'm going to hold, hold Shift and then Enter. Shift sends your cursor up. Then I'm going to click, uh, click in this cell and hit F2. Watch what happens when we hit Tab. Uh-huh. It goes to the right. Now I'm going to click back here and hit F2. What happens if I hit Shift Tab? Right? So there they are. Actually, that's, uh, yeah, that's Shift Enter goes up. Control Enter keeps the cell highlighted. Tab goes to the right. Shift Tab goes to the left. Enter goes down. And if I hit uh, F2 there, Control Enter keeps it highlighted. Now, the reason why that's important is because if you're making formulas and moving to the right, you want to use Tab. If you're entering a formula like we are and we're, we, we're about to do something to the cell, like copy it down, then it's most convenient to just have the formula entered and keep the cell highlighted. The other reason is, what if you wanted to add format, right? So you're about to do something to the cell. Now, uh, so that, that's um, why you do control enter. Now let's practice this a few times. I'm going to um, hit my down arrow, and then I'm going to type equals, and I'm going to use my arrows. Oops, I went one too far. No problem. I can just back arrow to get it, and then minus, and then, oh, left arrow to get that and then enter. So now I'm going down to create my formula so it's most convenient to hit enter. I'm going to use my arrow keys minus that one. Now let's just think of what Excel thinks here. Um, it looks like Excel's doing B4 minus E4 but really it's not. It's actually looking at always one, two, three, four cells to my left minus whatever's to my left. Now let's control enter and I will um, show you that that's true. The keyboard shortcut for copy is control C and I'm going to click in this cell right here and the keyboard shortcut for uh, paste is control V. Now I'm going to hit F2 and see what happened. You see it didn't really have B4 minus E4. It's it had whatever's four cells to my left minus whatever's one to my left. Now that's an important uh, realization in Excel and that means uh, we can name this type of cell reference because later we'll learn different ones. This is called a relative cell reference. It means relative to me the formula where am I always going to look? One, two, three, four to my left minus one to my left. Now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to delete all these. What's the keyboard shortcut for delete? Yeah, delete. Now I'm going to click in this cell, hit equals, one, two, three, four, minus, and that formula is always look four to my left, minus one to my left. I'm going to control enter, and now I'm going to um, point to the little fill handle right there. That's called the fill handle, that little square, and when I bring my cursor next to it, it converts from a selection cursor to a crosshair or an angry rabbit instead of crosshair. And I can click and drag. And when I click in the last cell here and hit F2, I can see that that worked perfectly. These relative cell references are beautiful. They're amazing. I didn't have to type it in five times. I just did it once because they're relative and copied it down. Now I want to go over and look at the ampersand. I'm going to click on this ampersand sheet right here. Now we have the equal sign, but the ampersand is an equally important symbol. It joins. It's the join symbol. Equals and click on this cell right here and use the ampersand. It joins content from different cells. And I click right there. So now it's whatever's in A1 and B1. Control Enter. But that doesn't look right. Now I want to change the column width here. So I'm going to come over between C and D and I see that cursor right there and I'm going to double click. Now let's just see how this works. Let's type your tab name enter and see it changes to your name. So sometimes it's very convenient. You have uh, variable data and you want to join them into one cell. Now let's click in this cell right here and hit F2. What we really want is a space. So we really need not two things, one, two, but three things. So I'm going to edit this formula. I'm going to put my cursor right there and I'm going to, I need a space. But in text formulas, which this is, you have to put words or spaces in double quote. So I'm going to type double quote, space, double quote, and then another ampersand. That ampersand, there's 
three things we're joining, name, space, name. So that has to be two ampersands. Control Enter. Now let me show you a great trick. Instead of clicking with your fill, your angry rabbit on your fill handle and dragging down, try just double clicking, just like that. And I'm going to double click here to expand the column. It copied them all the way down. And I'm going to click in this cell here and hit F2. Notice also the relative references came in very handy. All right, we'll see you next video.